G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, I'm gonna be giving you an update on what happened in my Neo Lamprologus tetracephalus and some other fish in the fish room. So let's get straight into the video. So guys, some good news with the first tank. My white Alto Lamprologus calvus breeding pair have spawned again. This is the fourth time they have spawned. After the first two successful spawnings, most of you would know that the third Spawning uh, was a dismal failure where I lost almost pretty much all the fry. If you haven't seen that video where I discussed that, you can watch it right here. But this is the fourth spawning of this breeding pair that I have. And thankfully I've managed to get them to breed relatively quickly after that third attempt was a failure. Uh, the way I did that was feeding the female where she hangs at the back of the tank, pretty much putting food right directly in front of her, helping her fatten up relatively quickly for this fourth spawn. They normally take three to four months between each spawn. Uh, this one was pretty much a month. So really glad that I was able to get her to spawn again so quickly after that, the failure of the third spawn. Uh, really, really happy. She's been uh, going in and out of the male shell for about a little over a week now. So I expect to see the babies in about three more weeks. Really stoked about this one, guys, because I was disappointed with the, the third the third batch I thought, you know, that was the biggest spawn that they had had. I've successfully raised the two first uh, spawns to uh, three to four centimeters. Some of the largest uh, calvus fry that I have now are almost five centimeters long. And I thought that third spawn would be, you know, just as good, just as successful, but uh, reality came and hit me really hard with that one. And I lost pretty much all the fry, but I'm really hoping that uh, I'm gonna have better success with this fourth batch. I am much better prepared for this one now. I've learned from my mistake at that third spawning attempt and I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be a success. Anyway, on to the next tank. So I thought I'd give you guys an update on uh, some non-Tanganyikan cichlids. Uh, these are my Kawenga Gold Fry, the oldest fry that I have. They're about uh, a little over a month old now and they're doing quite well. The interesting thing with these guys is they, you know, as the name states, they are a gold colored fish when they mature. However, when they uh, fry and as they approach maturity, they're a blue fish. So they make the transition to a gold colored fish uh, as they reach maturity. Uh, and that's pretty much after they reach a size of about one and a half inches to two inches long, they'll start to make this transformation and go a golden color. But yeah, this is the first batch I've successfully spawned. There's approximately 30 in this tank, I believe and the majority of them are almost two centimeters long. So pretty fast growing fish when you compare them to a lot of my Tanganyikan species. And I do have in another tank, two mouthfuls of these guys coming along. So I'm gonna have a lot more Kawanga Golds in the near future. I won the five that I have in my breeding colony at a raffle at the Cichlid Club. And I was pretty much using the adults as dither fish for my Neolamprologus tetracephalus to spread the aggression amongst the four trets that I had in a four foot tank. And that pretty much did the trick. The aggression was spread fairly evenly across the entire aquarium and the Kawanga Golds did their job. However, I am now breeding them as well. So, and I've actually had more su better success with the Kawanga Golds than I have ever had with the Neolamprologus tetracephalus. But I'll get to those guys in a second. And the tank, that I probably should update you on the most is this one, my Neolamprologus tetracephalus tank. And a lot of you are probably wondering what happened to the fry, was the spawn successful? And to be honest with you, I have not seen the fry whatsoever. So I'm not sure what has happened. I've checked every day extensively, looking around the tank, looking deep within the cave, trying not to disturb the male or the female. And I just haven't seen any fry. So I'm not sure what happened if they were eaten by the parents, if they were eaten by the other two Kawenga Golds that aren't dominant. Uh, I, I, I doubt that that happened. I, I, I suspect may, maybe the male or the female may have eaten their own fry. But in saying that, the last two weeks since they spawned, I have not seen any fry whatsoever. And I would have expected to see some fry at least swimming around the, the father um, or, at least, or even the female, uh, but I have not seen that at all. So I suspect that the fry have unfortunately either been eaten or have um, just passed away in the tank. I was putting uh, live microworms and live brine shrimp in the tank, uh, baby brine shrimp in the tank, just in case there were fry in that cave. However, that was probably done in vain. Uh, I kind of suspected after 
the last week's video that there were no fry in the tank and yeah i still have not seen any fry whatsoever so this eighth or ninth attempt i've lost count now the amount of times i've tried to successfully spawn my lamprolagus tetracephalus um, unfortunately i think is another failure but i will keep trying i'm not going to put the coenga golds back in this tank uh, i'm just going to leave the trets in here with the two subdominant threats so the male doesn't kill the female with all his aggression and hopefully they spawn again in the next few months and i will get another attempt at successfully raising that those young or trying to be successful at raising those young uh, we'll see maybe the parents need a little bit more time to mature to learn what they're doing that's the because in saying that it was the first time that i was letting the parents raise the fry all the way so maybe they need a few goes at trying to be parents so it's okay i am going to continue to be patient with these guys and hopefully successfully spawn them one day but anyway that's the story with my neil amprologus tetracephalus so there you have it guys kind of part two of my december fish room update i really hope you enjoyed that video if you did please hit the thumbs up comment and subscribe buttons i really appreciate it all right i'm gonna wrap this video up now thanks heaps for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye